Now, with all the recent developments in tech news, we thought there was no better time to break down what's trending. So we have Mark here with us this morning. We also have Thomas uh, Germain, senior tech reporter from Gizmodo. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Of course. So I just want to be transparent. This is so confusing to me. Uh, I feel like I see articles and articles trying to explain it. And I'm like, wait a minute. I can get a paper written. I can get a screenplay written or, or something. So um, tell me a little bit about the advancements in AI and chat GPT and also the photography. I know um, Mark here. Uh, had a story recently you read somewhere about someone starting a business with this yeah people are using uh, mm. artificial intelligence like chat GPT to do a lot of different things including like make business plans and and write like business ventures <laughs> and things like that what <laughs> what do you know about You're the this? expert tell us all about this right so this technology really is astonishing especially because it's new we've never seen anything really like this before a couple of months ago right before last year uh, but I think one thing to keep in mind is that all the tech companies who are competing with each other actually kind of want you to think that this technology is going to destroy the world because if it does and they run the technology, that's going to be really good for them. So I think some of the alarmism that we're seeing is a little bit overblown because if anybody's used this technology, like if you play around with ChatGPT or these image generators, you learn that they're not that great. They, they're really <laughs> impressive. They can do a great job of impersonating, you know, older pieces of content stuff that exists, but they really can't generate everything new. And a lot of the time they make mistakes. So I think for, uh, in a lot of cases, yes, it's gonna replace a lot of people's jobs. It's gonna be transformative, just like the internet was. But is it going to, you know, take all of our jobs? Is it going to be the apocalypse? I think I'll believe it when I see it. Okay, I like that attitude. We also have changes that are happening on Twitter. So what's next for the brand? Right. I, I think what's happened over the last six months with Elon Musk at Twitter is going to be studied at business schools as an example of just catastrophic failure, right? For years, we heard all these stories about how Elon Musk is a business genius. Uh, but I think we've learned over the past couple of months that that's not necessarily true. He's done so much to destroy Twitter's brand. It's kind of astonishing. Uh, the most recent development came with the verification system, right? Twitter used to give you a little blue check mark if it decided you were important. It would check your ID, make sure you were who you said you were. And it was also kind of a badge of honor, right? Like this tech company decided that you're significant. <laughs> Elon Musk did away with that. He took away all those check marks. He added this new system where all you need is $8 and a phone number and you can get a little blue check mark of your own. He took away a, something like 400,000 of these previously verified accounts. And the day that he did it, it was reported that only 28, 28 new people signed up for his new Twitter blue service. Wow. And that's partially because he's turned it into this signal that you're an Elon Musk supporter instead of you're just a person who wants a fun product. And I think that's done a lot to damage Twitter's brand. Yeah, it's well, funny backtracking to what he just said, feeling important. I'm like, wait a minute. That's just such a weird way to look at anything even before Elon Musk um, took over. Yeah, it, and you know, with all these changes to Twitter, you know, we are seeing a Twitter alternative called Blue Sky taking off. Well, can you tell us about this social media platform? Jack Dorsey was involved in this, right? Yeah, it's pretty ironic. So Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, started this new company that if you use it is basically the same thing as Twitter. And they rolled it out in this really smart way where it was invite only and it was hard to get on. And everyone who's been unsatisfied with uh, the way Elon Musk has been running things uh, has been eager to jump over. And we've seen this max exodus of people joining that platform and kind of hoping for Twitter's demise. Uh, and I think it's gonna be a big problem for for Elon, I don't know whether Blue Sky is going to be the app that replaces Twitter, but it's certainly a sign that the writing is on the wall and Twitter is in trouble. I feel like we are heading in that direction in um, every capacity possible. Definitely. People are just kind of over all social media. They want one go to and who knows, maybe it'll be that one or possibly the next one. Thank you so much for joining us and informing us on all of this really cool tech stuff, AI and chat GPT taking over the world eventually. We'll see. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> you can Thanks find more information on. about this on our website at kcalnews.com slash the morning wrap.